Hey, what's up guys? Frank here with another video and today I wanted to compare Podly with Flying Upload and compare the feature with the prices, okay? And so basically Podly, I just tested Podly uh, in my previous video and now I wanted to compare Podly with Flying Research because I've been with Flying Research for a few years now and, and I actually think that I've been with Flying Research since the beginning and as you can see, you can see the badge like I have the founder and I've been there so with them for probably two or three years or I don't know exactly but I've been using Flying Research for a few years and I've seen Flying Research evolve over the years and I stayed with them for 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 all these years but now that I've been trying Podly I wanted to compare these two software because I see a lot of potential with Podly and I'm not quite sure where Flying Research is going okay and so I just wanted to make a video to talk about it and share my thoughts okay and so first of all let's talk about the pricing okay because the price uh, it's quite important, you have to know what you're buying and so the price is an important thing for me, especially when there's a big gap between these two, okay? And so Podly has three kind of subscription, if that makes sense, okay? And so there's the monthly subscription that you pay per month and there's another subscription annually uh, that you pay every year okay and what an interesting about Budly is that there's also a lifetime purchase you can purchase Budly for a lifetime and so once you get the purchase then you're set for life I'm assuming okay and so maybe these things can evolve over the years or whatever but I'm assuming that when you purchase this lifetime thing uh, you get all the updates and all these things and so I'm not quite sure how this business model works for them because personally I know that when you have a business you have to keep making money and so if the lifetime subscription is a thing then I'm not sure how they're going to manage to live on the long term okay and so that's just a thought and from and then let's talk about, and yeah, another thing that I want to say about Podly is that it's quite simple, okay? It's, there are three uh, tier, let's say. So there's the individual tier, the business tier, and the enterprise tier, okay? And so depending on your needs, then you might go with the individual and then the business and the enterprise, okay? And so personally, where I'm at right now, I would probably go with, uh, the enterprise package because I love having all the functionality and I'm comfortable with the print-on-demand terms and, and functionalities and so I love having all the functionalities okay but I'm gonna talk about functionalities uh, later on now I want to talk about flying research okay and the thing with flying research is that yes there's the monthly subscription and then the analyst which you can decide depending on your needs but what is very not clear with flying research that I'm very confused is that over the years uh, flying research they add a new module and new module and new features and new features and now like the features are basically all over the place okay and so for example uh, you have the research module, the keyword module, the upload module, and each of those things, each of those module have different modules in themselves, okay? And so basically in the research module, you have the research module, the, e, the AI research, the trademarks, and the research bundle, and then in the keyword module, you have the keyword, the, and then in the upload, you have different things. And so it's just different feature with different module. But the thing is that I feel like it started, like, I feel like flying upload is getting so big with so many features that over the years and over time and in the way they evolve, 
I feel like it's getting really messy, okay? It's getting really messy and it, those are just my thoughts. And so you have these all these modules, but you also have different versions, okay? And so you have the free versions, the bundle version, the professional bundle, and then the ultimate bundle. And you see, you have all these modules and these packages and these bundles, and I just feel like it's getting way, way complicated. And so I know that uh, in the last days, they created this new ultimate package and I've been thinking about purchasing it because I've been using Flame Research for a few years now. And so I just, let's just talk about this, okay? One thing that I really love about Pudley is that they have all the important feature, okay? They have all the important feature, like yes, Flying Upload and Flying Research have all all sort of amazing features that, to be honest, I don't really use. I mean, yes, flying research is complete, and there's there's there are many tools, but in actuality, I don't really use many of these tools. Yes, it's very complete, but I feel like there are so many tools that it's just easy to get lost in these tools. And to be honest, like over the years, like. I just became more and more confused with flying research because of all these tools. Not that these tools are useless, but it's just that I don't want to deal with all these tools and I don't I don't have the time to to learn about all these tools. And so Pudley what is really cool is that they have all the basic features. They have all the most important features. And another thing about Pudley is the really thing that I love about Pudley is their extension. The extension that they create, which basically generates uh, Amazon merch listing. I just love the solution for the, that they did for, for Amazon merch. And, and I tried to, I tried the AI uh, solution for, from, flying upload, which is kind of like the AI template. And to be honest, I just find it so complicated. You have to set up this API with OpenAI. And I, I don't know, I tried to, to, put it, to put it in place and I went into the settings and, and, and I basically have my API key here. But the thing is that it's, I don't feel like it, I, I, I didn't manage to make it work. And so for me, I just think it's super confusing to, to, to use the AI and I don't really understand the solution with flying research. And so for me, that's a big down. And partly the solution that they did with AI, I just think it's easy to use. It's easy to understand. It's, it's easy to learn and I just love it. And so I don't see myself using the AI solution with flying, with flying upload. Okay. And so let's talk about the other features. And so, um, yeah, so Pudley has all the feature that I actually need to run my online business. Okay. And so that's, that's, it's simple. It's all the basic tools that I need. And so let's talk about the feature that I've been using in flying research and flying upload, okay? And so the most important feature that I use in flying research is basically uh, the best sellers and the seller trends. And I don't go into all of these uh, trends or whatever, but you know, sometimes I go and I check all of these things. I mostly check the best sellers and sometimes I might go into MBA and other tabs in order to see other things, okay? But other than that, I don't really, I don't really check all of these. I mean, I, I, probably that I could check all of these, but I just don't think I have the time for this, okay? And another thing that I've been using with the AI is Mumble here that I've been using that is a new module with flying research and basically now I can no longer use it because I think it was only for a limited time and now I have to pay the 
big bundle or whatever, but I've been using it in order to get some quotes and, and jokes about some, some, some niche, okay? Because, because for me, this is a way to use these phrases and these quotes, and then I go and make a design about it. And so uh, the mumble AI research thing, I've been using it, but now I can no longer use it because now I have to subscribe to the ultimate uh, the ultimate package here, okay? And so now I can no longer use it. And the thing that I loved about it is that you, like, from from this page, you can see which quote and phrase is registered and has some trademark. And so, for example, this one here, this this quote, I cannot use it because. Uh, the trademark is registered and so it's easy to to like know which quote that I can use for my print-on-demand business and then I can also check on Google to see like what kind of trademark this is because sometimes these quotes can be like uh, the name of a song and it's not necessarily trademark but since this is a name of a song you cannot use it for your print-on-demand and so even though it's not registered, sometimes it's worth it to make some search on Google, okay? And so this is a thing that I've been using. And another thing that I've been using is obviously the tag generator because I use the tag generator to uh, create tags and keywords for my Redbubble uh, designs, my TeePublic designs, and all the other marketplaces that are not necessarily uh, related with Amazon Merch, okay? And in my previous video, I showed how you can bypass this thing using the keyword processor uh, with Podly. And so that's something that you could look into. And another thing that I'm using is uh, the events here. I'm using the, the calendar and I'm also using the trademark the trademark search, okay? And so those are the most thing that I use in flying research. And, and I also use um, the design, the other page, the orange page here, which basically includes everything related to upload and everything related to design, okay? And so this is where I've, I recently started to use the design management where I would upload my designs on uh, the platform and then I would like put all the information related to my designs and so for example I have my title and my description and all my keywords and then I sometimes I would use the NB the March by Amazon section but not that much okay and then there's a display version but I don't really use it like all the functionalities because uh, again, now I'm going to talk about the upload. And so a few weeks ago, I decided that I would stop uploading my designs using the upload automation that uh, Flying Research is providing because I decided I would upload them manually. And so now with Productor, it's easy to upload on Amazon Merch using some sort of template. and. And it allows me to check manually that everything is fine. And and on Redbubble and TeePublic, the the upload interfaces are quite okay to use. And I don't I don't really I stopped using the upload automation. So I think I basically use the upload automation on probably something like one platform and it is displayed because to upload on displayed you have to have a certain uh, dimensions for your designs and if you don't have these dimensions then you're not upload you're not able to upload them and so the cool thing about the upload automation for displayed is that flying upload they they they're able to 
make the designs and make the design the right dimension so that you can upload upload it on this plate okay so that's a pretty cool plus but but you see like everything related to design management it's a cool thing and yes you have a lot of storage i think with uh the upload like for example in the upload bundle um you have access to all the bundles and you have the design management to to 500 gigabytes which is a lot but once you upload the designs on the platform and all the marketplaces like once you once you're done with them you don't really use them anymore you know like and so yes having the design management is pretty cool and you're able to store a lot of designs but in reality, once you're done uploading the designs, like you don't really need them anymore. You're not going to use them anymore. And so the design management, yes, it can be pretty cool, but it's not necessary. Okay. And I already have a bunch of storage because I use Microsoft 365. Uh, just grab it. And so I already have a lot of storage using Microsoft 365 and Microsoft 365 basically come with uh, one terabyte of cloud storage. And so I store basically all my designs there anyway. Okay. And so I don't really need the design management bundle and I don't really need the upload bundle except maybe for this plate. And so basically right now my flying research subscription is expiring in pretty much two weeks and i'm wondering if i want to stay with flying research because i want to have like all these tools but i think currently flying research is yes it has a bunch of bundle and it has a bunch of functionalities but I have other services that can fulfill these things. And I feel like over the years and over time, flying research evolved that it's becoming way and more, it's, be, it's, it's becoming very complicated. And, and I don't really like what they've done with the AI, the, the AI template. I'm, I mean, I don't understand how that works. And I've, I've checked their, their videos and things and so if right now you're considering a print-on-demand service or print-on-demand tool or 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 if you're new into print-on-demand yes find find research is a one tool that contains everything that you need but you know you might you you could consider other tools such as Pudly, which for a very reasonable price, you have access to all the tools that you really need. Like Podly contains only the tools that you really need for your print on demand business. Okay. And so yes, Flying Research has a bunch of tools, but Podly only has the tools that you need and it's easy to use. And the extension, the extension, I'm really amazed about what they did. Okay. And so like flying, I feel like flying research made the AI way too complicated. And I feel like flying research should have done something like Podly, okay? And the solution that Podly did for the AI, I just think it's really, really cool. And, and it's a big thumbs up for the AI, okay? And so right now that I'm, that my flying research is, expiring now that my flying research subscription is expiring i don't think that i'm gonna spend all this money on on flying research because i don't need all these tools yes these tools are very useful and they helped me a lot during these years but i don't need all these tools and Pudly basically gives me all the tools that i really need and 
the AI plugin extension that they've done is just is just amazing. So they don't have that many features like flying the research, but the features that you have are the features that are actually that you actually need for your print on demand business. And the extension that they've done, I just think I'm gonna keep using that, okay? And so I just think I'm gonna make the switch and I'm gonna pay less money for a lifetime deal. And so if right now you're new into the print on demand sphere or, or maybe you're thinking about changing your service, you might consider Pudley, okay? And so I hope that this video was helpful to you and let me know if you have any questions, okay? Peace.